The advantage of LGMU is that we have a BPS accredited undergraduate degree, a BPS accredited MSc and the opportunity to complete the professional training process uh, within Liverpool John Moores University. We offer placement based opportunities uh, that are supervised by chartered sport and exercise psychologists and the students have the opportunity to work with some of our clients, some of our contact groups and actually have their first experience of delivering sports psychology support which I believe is a real strength to the programme. The placements that we offer our undergraduate students at Liverpool John Moores University are, are very important to the programme but they're also quite diverse. So there are a number of different placement uh, activities that can be undertaken, uh, normally with fairly high level professional sports teams. Well this is a crucial aspect to the work that I do here in the school um, and my colleagues in sports psychology and it informs our master's programme. Um, quite different to a lot of other places, we have lots of staff here who have actually worked in the industry. The industry we're talking about here, professional football. So for example in the last 10 years I've worked at Bolton Wanderers, uh, Newcastle United and Hull City actually inside those clubs delivering sports psychology three to four days a week and doing my job here at the university. Other colleagues in the psychology side have done something similar. It's absolutely crucial, it's in line with what this university is about, very much the history of this department, that we recruit staff here who are passionate, knowledgeable and skilled. You need that skill to be able to take that to the world outside and we try to pass that on to our students and that makes it a very passionate a dynamic environment to be in. But the main reason why I got a job at Liverpool Football Club was through John Moores University and I know the rewards of the, of the placement. I've worked hard since I've been there to build a relationship between the, between the club and, and uh, John Moores University and this is the, yeah, the fourth season in the row now where we've had uh, student placements at the academy. Well I've been working with the goals placement um, which is getting our, life, our active lifestyles started um, so working with um, have had families to kind of change their lifestyles. Um, I've gone back to my old upper school working in the PE department um, and then with the face-to-face -face with sports science I've been getting involved here going to um, Chardwell School and um, working on the um, Bang Goes the Theory with the BBC. Over the first two years I was doing things uh, like interviews with athletes, uh, communication skills, um, what, what the skills that a sports psychologist needs to uh, help and improve athletes. We test in the lab under controlled conditions to identify the key variables that ex expert athletes possess. Once we have these critical behaviours that coincide with uh, expert performance, we can then take them into a real world and then apply training programmes and interventions to improve performance. So we're gathering the information using eye tracking goggles or glasses. The goggles allow us to identify what the eye is looking at during performance and what, it, what it's actually attending to, whether it's the, the arms or the, the torso or the legs of the, the observer in the picture. Uh, one of the pieces of work I did was with uh, Olympic shooters. So we went in to test eye movements and gun barrel kinematics uh, in the real world setting. So we took eye movements from a range of international level shooters. We improved the international shooters um, performance by 7% in competition. There's a focus on expert performance, particularly what makes an expert performer an expert and also how we can train lesser performers to become expert performers. My current research look, looks at the behavioural mechanisms underpinning imitation and how these processes facilitate observational learning. In particular, the current scenario is looking at goal-directed imitation whereby we're looking at how people copy movements when their goals are on the screen or targets or when we take those goals off the screen or remove those targets. We believe our research in imitation should impact on the real world uh, by furthering this work with people with autism spectrum conditions. From a scientific perspective, um, we are broadening um, current knowledge on the mechanisms underpinning motor behaviour and importantly from an applied point of view, we can hopefully make a real change. I think students get a really good grounding um, both from a theoretical perspective and an applied perspective with regard to sports psychology. The staff here are engaged in research and applied practice and that has a strong flavour throughout the programme and culminates for the student at level six by them actually going out and, and having some experience of working with, with client groups. Uh, the work related learning component of the programme is probably one of the most unique elements 
of the LGMU um, curriculum, uh, and I think it's one of our big selling points. Um, gives the opportunity of stu for students to go out on placement in the final year, having learnt lots of theory and skills in applied sports psychology in the previous two years. We're all measured by the same thing at the academy. It's getting players through to the first team, helping them to progress. So when some when a player achieves that, when you know you've played a bit of part in it, you know it's it's, it's fantastic. It's really important that you've got staff who have. Um, applied experience and credibility with the industry. But quite frankly, if you don't have that, they won't allow you in the door. Um, I just think the school here is just world class. The research that comes out of it is just brilliant. <laughs>